If you use Midjourney, a difficult task is generating consistent character photos. Today, I will introduce how to generate consistent characters in Midjourney. This is a simple three-step process. Step 1. Quickly generate reference images and save them as a custom option. Step 2. Generate any pose you like without using the custom option. Step 3. Use Vary Region to repaint the face. Note that since we need to use Vary Region, currently only Midjourney 5.2 and below support it, V6 does not support it yet as it is a beta version. So during the second step, be sure to use a model other than V6. Now let's demonstrate two examples. First, we need to quickly generate reference images. The method I recommend most is using the split technique, which is to add instructions like image split into two, image split into three, etc. in the prompt, and add shot from different angles to obtain multiple consistent characters from different angles at once. Here I use it split into four. Sometimes Midjourney will generate three instead of four images, but that's okay. We have now generated four sets of different characters, each set containing several photos of the same character. We can pick the pictures that we feel meet our requirements or regenerate them. Here we choose this picture, upscale and save it. Next, you need to split the picture. For example, you can use screenshot tools to separately capture these images. Here I used the MJ Splitter website, which can quickly cut the image into four parts, just what we need. Next, we upload the four images back to Discord to obtain their links. Then we create a shortcut command for this character, so we don't have to copy all the links every time. Use the slash prefer option set, paste all the links, and some words describing the character. Here we call her Anna. In the second step, we randomly generate a character photo with a pose. Here we need to use a model that supports very region, like 5.2. In the third step, choose the picture you like, upscale it, and then perform very region. Here we need to select the position from the character's face to the shoulder, and then the prompt can be directly changed to Anna. Midjourney will use our reference image to repaint the face. You can see the generated picture is more similar to Anna. Try a few times and you will get the picture you want. The second demo is very similar to the first, so I will fast forward here. This is all the content of this video. Have you learned how to generate consistent characters? Please tell me in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will update more useful AI tutorials every week.